With all the preparation for July 4th festivities, there's another element to prepare for, fireworks safety. Let's go now to Danielle Miskell, who's at a fireworks tent right at the border of Lexington and Nicholasville. Danielle. Hi, Marvin Amani. Yes, I have been told repeatedly today that if it goes up and blows up, it's illegal in some counties like in Fayette County. But we are not just talking about illegal fireworks here. We're talking about fireworks that we grew up with. So sometimes we can get a little comfortable and forget the basics. And you can also have a bucket of water where you can place used fireworks in the bucket of water just to make sure they're sufficiently uh, cooled. Fire Safety 101. Have water handy when you light up those fireworks. Even sparklers can reach a temperature of up to 2,000 degrees. Even with fireworks that are known to be the most kid-friendly, it's a good idea to watch how they're being handled. Um, if you have a child, make sure that they're never pointing fireworks at anyone. As a salesperson of fireworks, Kathy says adults need safety reminders too. Make sure that they are always lit on a flat ground. There are some fireworks that are quite large that need to be um, screwed into a pallet or some wood to make sure that they don't fall over. And if a firework doesn't light up, don't try relighting it. Just throw it away. For a second year in a row, the fireworks tent off Brandon Road is selling a new type of firework that has an extra layer of protection from being accidentally burned. Cool about this is you attach this to this little box that's in here and attach it to the um, the lighter, the lighted end of the, the fuse of the firework and you set the firework off from your phone at a very safe distance, so really safe. And even kids could push that if they're at a safe distance with their parents. The Lexington Fire Department is also asking people to be courteous of neighbors. Who are veterans and they might have PTSD or even families with young children or families with pets, uh, dogs in particular, you ten tend to see a spike in missing dogs uh, during the 4th of July season because the loud noises scare them and they get loose from the yard. And stick to the rules. No fire crackers, no bottle rockets, anything like that. Ultimately, our recommendation is to leave it to the professionals. The city has a great fireworks show that they're putting on at 10 p.m. on the 4th of July. And I was told that when you come shopping for fireworks, you can actually find QR codes on each of them. You take a picture and you scan that and you'll be able to see what these fireworks are going to look like when you set them off. So just another extra added layer of protection for you to check out so you can see if it'll be safe around you and your family and friends. And one more thing, Faith Fireworks, I want to go ahead and welcome in their monkey tank. They want to welcome all of the kids to come here tomorrow from 5 to 6 to take pictures with them. So make sure you stop on by this location location here on Brandon Road. Reporting in Nicholasville, Danielle Miskell, Fox 56 News. All right, Danielle, thank you.